Hey everyone, happy Monday. I'm back home. So I am gonna do a makeup look with you guys today. We'll chit chat, see how your all's holiday weekend went. I'm going to share this real quick. Hopefully get some people on here. If you're catching the replay, hashtag replay down in the comments and then hit the share button in the bottom left hand corner and then comment shared once you share the video. Okay. I'm just gonna share to a few places real quick. And then we'll get started. Say hello once you hop on. Hey everyone. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the face primed real quick. We're gonna use the hydrating face primer. Um, also, I need to pin something real quick. I always forget to do this until like the end of the video. So if you wanna find any of my unique products, you can go to my website. You can also go to my business page here on Facebook, Kayla's Marvelous Makeup. But here is the link to my website. There we go. Let me know if the picture is clear so I know whether or not I need to turn on or off the Wi-Fi. There we go. It is pinned. All right, let's go ahead and prime the face. How did everyone's 4th of July weekend go? Hi, Heather. <clears throat> Do we have a, a clear picture today? Are we clear? I never know if my Wi-Fi is gonna help or make the video worse. It has a mind of its own. So sometimes it makes it clearer, sometimes it makes it more blurry. Did you guys have a great 4th of July weekend? I just got home last night. We were visiting family in Kentucky. I was gone like a week. <laughs> Yay, we're clear. Good. Um, I was only going to be gone like over the weekend, last weekend, um, and then come back home on Tuesday. But we were going to go back down again on Friday for our family reunion. So I decided just to stay the whole week with my sister. Um, so I ended up be gone, being gone for over a week. So, hi Ashley. Yeah, it was a fun week, but it feels good to be home. I did attempt to go live while I was at my sister's. If you guys saw that live video, it was a little bit crazy. Hi Sandy. Um, yeah. We had like eight kids in the house, so it was kind of loud. <laughs> I'm so used to like being in this back room doing my live videos and um, it makes it easier for me to concentrate, but you know, the girls loved it. They loved going live, so it was a good time. Hey girl, how's it going? So guys, I'm gonna give you guys a little update on the new Uology eye cream. I'm just gonna say, if you have not purchased your eye cream yet, you might wanna go and grab it. I'm pretty sure it's still in stock, but it is incredible. It is doing wonders. You guys know I struggle with my under eyes so bad because I have horrible under eye bags, um, and I can already see such a huge difference. My eyes look a little crazy right now because my contacts have been bothering it, but this stuff's good. I love it. So, so good. If you need a new under eye cream, then go grab it on my website. Just at work. Are you on break? <laughs> do I need to keep it down? All right, so we're going to go in and do foundation real quick. I'm going to do the spray foundation. This is still, there's some shades still available on my website. If you need a color match, let me know. Um, this is my favorite foundation that Unique has. I get asked that a lot, what my favorite foundation is that we have, and the spray is definitely on top for me. Hi, Linda. 
definitely, definitely on top. If you're just joining, hit that share button in the bottom left-hand corner. We're gonna shake it up. We're using the shade Taffeta today. I'm gonna make sure I should just turn the volume down and up. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think you can do subtitles on a live video, but this will probably be uploaded on YouTube. So um, if you have to check it out later on, you can go subscribe to my YouTube channel, Style and Glam with Kayla. Um, I, I, I upload most of my live videos from Facebook onto my YouTube channel. Um, so that's always nice because you can turn your subtitles on and you can sneak and watch it work. <laughs> All right. So we are going to do some spray foundation. How did everybody's 4th of July go? Tell me what you guys did. Did you guys get with family? Did you have a grill out? Did you do fireworks? We did not do fireworks, but we saw a lot of fireworks on the way home last night. Um, we didn't get in last night till around, I want to say it was like 1040 ish. Um, and there was a lot of fireworks going off on our road, which was pretty cool. So we got a little fireworks show while we were pulling in. It's like they were celebrating that we were home, <laughs> but we didn't do fireworks, but I think this weekend our town or a town nearby is doing fireworks. So we'll probably go watch that. But it was a good time. It was a good week. And we had our family reunion on Saturday. That was a good time. I did get some requests to do the makeup look that I did for 4th of July. It was super basic, super simple. I did a very soft, easy eye look and then a bright red lip. And I got some requests to do that look. I would do that. I'm not wearing any red today, so I don't know if we're gonna if we're gonna do a red lip or not. I need to see. We got some lip stains that we could do. I do have um I think all of the lip stain shades available on my website. If you guys wanna see me do a lip stain, I could do one of those. So we could do like either a bold eye look today with um, a nude lip or we could do a neutral eye and a bold lip. Um, let me know what you guys wanna see. Okay, so there's one side done. That's just one coat, guys, and the coverage is amazing. Super lightweight, um, airbrush finish, transfer resistant. Um, it's incredible. This stuff is just so, so good. Okay, you can see the coverage is pretty full. It's amazing. All of my customers love the spray. Okay, I like to do one side of my face first because this foundation is pretty fast drying. So I usually work on one side first and then go to the other side. Just to make sure I've got plenty of time to blend it out. But this is a foundation that you're going to want to stay stocked up on. Just like our mascara, you don't want to run out of it. Okay, we're going to blend it down the neck. And just make sure it's buffed in good. Okay. Oh, but it felt really good to get home last night and to sleep in my own bed. So I slept pretty good last night. I feel well rested. Today's been pretty chillax. We thought we were going to have a showing for our house 
Um, if you don't know, we, we're trying to get moved down to Kentucky to put the kids in Christian school. Um, so, we have our house on the market, and we thought we had a showing this morning, but again, second time, the people canceled. They said the house was too far out for them. <clears throat> Which it does kind of sit far back, but some people like that. So it just wasn't the right people. So be praying that it, it sells fast. We want to get down there as soon as possible. Okay, so I'm just taking a little bit of setting powder over top. And I got a hair in my mouth. Okay. Got loose hairs on the brush, brushes. All right, now let's see. I'm gonna take some bronzer and just warm up the face. Unique's Beachfront Bronzer is no longer available, but if you wanted to, you could use our stick foundation in a darker shade or our pressed powder in a darker shade to contour with or to add some warmth to the face. Um, those work really well. I have done that many a times, but I am going to use up my Beachfront Bronzer because it's always been my favorite thing to contour with. So fingers crossed that we're going to get a new bronzer. It just amazes me. Every time I contour, um, just how it changes the whole look. It adds some like structure to the face. Some dimension. Slims, areas that need slimmed. It's incredible. It just kind of pulls it all together. Hi, Emily. Emily Bowles. Okay, we're just adding this to kind of bring it all together right here on the cheekbones because that makes the cheekbones pop it kind of slims the face and then right here on the jawline that gets rid of my double chin <laughs> okay now i'm going to take it along the sides of the nose to do a little nose contour so let's find a good brush for that. Oh, <clears throat> I bet a lot of people are back to work today. That's why I said I was a little bit, I was a little bit M MIA this week, but I tried to stay um, posting and we did one live video. Well, we tried to do a couple of them, but our the signal and stuff was giving us a hard time a few of the days, so that made it kind of hard. Hi, Ash. <clears throat> but it feels good to be back because I like to be in like a normal routine and it makes it difficult when you can't like do the norm. It kind of just throws you off. Does anybody else feel that way? Like when you're out of town, you just can't be in your, your normal routine. Okay, so I'm just blending that nose contour out with my powder puff brush. Every time I say blush, I wanna say brush. And every time I say brush, I wanna say blush. <laughs> Hi, Beth. We're just gonna smooth that out so it doesn't look so harsh. I need you to come do my makeup. Oh, girl, where do you live? Where do you live at? 
I do have someone driving out here. They're going to drive two hours um, to my place to have me do their makeup. I was like, that is dedication right there. Someone who really wants their makeup done. But I'm kind of like building a portfolio right now because I want to kind of get into doing like wedding makeup and prom makeup. Um, I'd love to be able to do that. But I need a little bit more practice on other people. Um, I do my sister occasionally and my sister-in-law, my mom. But, you know, it's a lot different doing makeup on other people than doing it on yourself. So... I am trying to build up a portfolio, but I do offer makeovers, so I don't charge a whole lot right now. Um, I am in Indiana. I am like near Rising Sun. I'm like in between Rising Sun and Vivi, Indiana. I don't know if you know where like Rising Sun, Lawrenceburg, Indiana. I'm probably about 30 minutes from Lawrenceburg. <clears throat> But I will be moving down to Kentucky, hopefully, hopefully soon. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, so let's add some blush. I'm going to go in with the shade Supple, which is my favorite unique blush shade. Supple is stunning. I use it all the time. But I thought that was pretty cool. I'm going to be doing that on the 11th, doing some makeup. We drive down 64 to Illinois. Oh, yeah, you're probably a little ways away from me. If you're ever in the area, let me know. Isn't that a pretty blush color? That's my favorite. It's like a peachy, like an apricot, I think. That's how I would describe it. So pretty. Okay, we're just gonna blend that with our fluffy brush to make sure it's not harsh looking. Okay, just like that. All right, now we're gonna set it with some Behold Setting Spray. Lock it all in place. So I'm gonna shake up my setting spray. Oh, thanks. Okay, and that's gonna hold all the makeup in place all day long. This makeup's not going anywhere. The spray the spray foundation alone is pretty. It's got great staying power, um, but you wanna lock it in place with a setting spray or setting powder. Um, I actually do both. I do setting powder over top of the foundation, and then once I get contour, blush, and everything on, I set it with setting spray. Okay, and then we just let it cool off. This hair, you guys, my 10-year-old niece curled my hair for me last night with a bubble wand. This is leftover curls from last night. And she did, like, a great job. I was so surprised. She's never really, like, curled people's hair. So I was a little nervous, but I didn't feel like doing my hair last night. <laughs> for church so I'm like sure have at it just don't burn my neck don't burn my ears um and she did really good she used a bubble wand now I want to get a bubble wand because I love how the curls looked <clears throat> thanks didn't she do a good job I was like so shocked I was I was kind of expecting the worst I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I love her to death, but um, I didn't think she was gonna do this good of a job. All right, so let's fill in the brows. I'm gonna use the Unique's Brow Artist Palette, or Brow Obsession Palette, okay? This is our brow palette. It's amazing. It is still available on my website, but it will be retiring, so if you wanna grab it, you're gonna wanna grab it um, soon before they go out of stock. And then I usually use the Brow Artist brush to do my brows. So I'm gonna find that. Most of my makeup is still packed from the tri trip. Like I said, we got in late last night, so I haven't had time to fully unpack everything. So bear with me. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. Makeup related, non-makeup related. Let me know. I'm, I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about Unique or about makeup. 
There's my brow artist brush. <clears throat> I need to figure out what mascara we want to do today. 4D or should I do Epic mascara? 4D or Epic. My 4D is right here, so I think that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna go ahead and start warming that bad boy up. And all I do to warm my mascara up is I simply sit on it. You'd be amazed at how much better your mascara will apply just by sitting on it while you're doing the rest of your makeup. It just warms the product up in the bottle and it helps it go on smoother. All right, so I have the Brow Artist brush and I'm using the Blonde palette, but I do believe the Blonde is out of stock now, but we have the Medium palette and the Dark, the Brunette palette. Okay, they're amazing. Um, I have Blonde in my hair, but even if you had dark brown hair, you could still use this palette. So they're pretty versatile. <clears throat> So it comes with two powders, two highlighters, and a brow wax, like a brow pomade, which works fantastic. Now I have super thick brows, but I like to um, fill them in and give them some more shape because it makes the eyes pop when you do your brows. You give them a nice shape. but I do try to keep the brows nice and trimmed up because it makes a huge difference when you're taking care of the brows. So yes, I do my own brows. I do not go and get them done. And it's really not that hard to do. I actually did my nieces, while we were visiting, I trimmed hers up. I probably, sh I didn't have a whole lot of time to do it, but hers needed trimmed up a little bit. I simply, all you want to do is take like a spoolie brush. So something like this. Spoolie. Comb them straight up. All the hair, just comb it straight up. And then you're going to go with a tiny, tiny pairs, pair of scissors. Um... You can usually get them in the beauty aisle at a store, at Walmart, at the dollar store. They're tiny little scissors. Um, and then just trim all the hair that's sticking above your natural brow line. Trim it up or trim it off, okay? Just be very careful. Um, and then go back through, comb them all back down, and bam, your brows are all nice and trimmed. And it makes a huge difference. Now, whether you get them plucked or because you will have some hairs that want to stray. Um, I use tweezers just to pluck mine. I don't get them waxed or anything. But if you aren't comfortable with tweezers, you can definitely get them waxed. The beauty salon does that. I am a little scared of wax. So I just use tweezers. <laughs> And if you've never used tweezers before, it might hurt a little bit at first, but you'll get used to it. Okay. And if you need a brow video, you need a little bit more in-depth, like brow tutorial, let me know. I need to do an updated one, but I have an older um, brow tutorial with the brow palette if you are just clueless on how to do brows let me know I can help you out so let me ask you this while I'm on here guys even if you're catching the replay you can answer this question I want to know what your biggest struggle is when it comes to makeup. Like what do you have the hardest time um, doing when it comes to makeup? Like is it brows? Is it eyeshadow? Is it 
getting the right shade of foundation. Like what is your struggle, makeup struggle? I'm interested to know like what the most popular answer would be. Mine for the longest time was probably lips. Like I never could do lips and make them look nice like a lot of girls could. But when I started actually using Unique's lip liners, that was kind of like a game changer because Linda says eyeshadow. Yeah, a lot of, I think I, that's probably the most popular answer I've gotten from like my customers and stuff. Um, but eyeshadow can be overwhelming, but usually just keeping it simple is the easiest way to go. But we'll talk about that when we do eyes. But um, our lip liners, I was always scared of using lip liners before I joined Unique. I don't think, I might have used a lip liner once before I joined Unique three years ago. Um, but our lip liners were so nice and smooth. Um, they are going to be retiring, but I do believe we'll be coming out with a new version of our lip liners. Because um, right now they're the pencils and you do have to use Unique's pencil sharpener. Um to sharpen them because other sharpeners are not designed for our pencils. But I love our lip liners so, so much. This one was my favorite one. This was Pouty Precision Lip Liner. It is out of stock. I'm so sad, but I do think when our new lip liners, if we have new lip liners come out, um, I'm thinking it's gonna be scroll up lip liners, not pencils like that you have to sharpen. That's my guess because the pencil sharpener is retiring. So my guess is that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna give us like scroll up so you don't have to sharpen it. Because I have misplaced my sharpener so many times and then I'm like, what am I gonna do? I have nothing to sharpen it with. <laughs> so fingers crossed that that's what they're gonna do. But lips I struggled with. Now I've kind of gotten the hang of it. Um, I've practiced a whole lot to work. Sorry, I was getting a phone call. <laughs> Someone in Missouri, so I'm sure it's a scammer. <laughs> but yeah, lips is what I struggled with the most. Now I've, I think I've got it pretty down pat. All right, so for the eyes today, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We've got some pretty pressed eyeshadows that we could do. Um, I did a really pretty eye look this last week. I did not get, I started doing it on an Instagram Live and then my signal was just not having it while I was out of town. So I did a really like orange, a pretty orange look on top and then the pop of blue underneath. That was really, really pretty. I got a lot of compliments on that eye look. Um, or should we just keep it neutral and do like just a really simple, pretty eye look. We've got some purples. I always get compliments on the purples. My earrings, I don't know if they have is that purple or pink? I think it's like a fuchsia. Um, so let's do, let's just do a neutral eye with some browns. How does that sound? So let's start out with like a, just a neutral transition color. I'm going to go in with the shade Astute. Um, some of the pressed eyeshadows are out of stock, but there are some shades that we'll be restocking this month. So if you see anything that I use or that you really want to get your hands on, just let me know and I'll give you all the information of when it will be back in stock and when I can order it up for you. <clears throat> okay, so we're just going to go in with the shade Astute, which is a matte brown shade. It's like a light brown it's great for a transition color just to give you um, a little peak of color at the top of the eye look. It's probably my favorite transition color. If I had to pick just one, it would probably be a close tie between Astute and Gingerly. Gingerly is a really good one too. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to this other blending brush. So we're just gonna blend this back and forth in the crease. Does anybody have any questions? 
Unique does not only have just makeup, but we have a whole skincare line. So if you have any questions about skincare, I'd be happy to answer any questions you guys have. Hi, Lucille. How's it going? Happy Monday. We could do a really pretty like neutral eye look and then like a bold pink lip. I think that would look pretty. Okay, so when it comes to the eyes, really all you have to do is get a good transition color, so a crease color. Um, I would stick with a matte shade, so that means there's no glitter, no sparkles, no metallic in it, just a flat matte color, and usually something in the brown family, like something, I mean, you don't have to do brown, but something a little bit lighter, nothing too dark in the crease. Um, so I like to do like tan and or like caramel brown. Those are like my favorite transition colors. Um, so get you a good transition color. Um, then you can pick a lid shade. That can be a matte, it can be a satin, it can be metallic, um, whatever kind of look you're going for. Um, and it can be pretty much any color. You can use any color on the lid that you want. If you're going for a smoky eye, you want something dark, you can do a dark matte color or um, a dark like metallic would be really pretty for a smoky eye. Um, you can always pop a lighter metallic in the middle, in the center of your eye to kind of brighten the look up a little bit. If it's a little too dark or too smoky for you, you can throw a lighter shade in the middle of the lid. Um, or if you're just going with a really simple, classic eye look, then do your transition color, then do a lighter shade on the lid, and then like a medium brown to a dark brown in the outer V, which is the outer corner right here. Pop a darker shade there just to add some dimension to the eye look. Um, and then you can take your crease color and kind of drag it underneath the eye to kind of balance the eye look out. And then boom, that's all you gotta do. Um, I do like to use a light shimmer color, um, usually something that's like bright, almost like a creamish white color. I like to pop on the inner corner of my eye and the brow bone to highlight. Um, but if you, you need suggestions on what shadows would look best on you, you can message me. I can help to um, build you a palette that will complement your eyes and make them stand out. If you need help with that, just let me know and I can help you. But yeah, it's pretty simple. And when it comes to brushes, what brushes you should use, when you are adding your transition color, the fluffy, or this is the blending brush. This one is probably our most popular brush. Um, also, the fluffy crease brush is another good one. Um, I have it here somewhere. So it's almost like the, the blending brush, but it's a little bit more tapered. It's not as fluffy. So this one's great for adding color in the outer corner and then blending it into the crease. This one's great for just blending all, all the shades together. <laughs> so those are great for the crease in the outer corner. And then for a lid shade, I would suggest our cream shadow brush. That is a really like flat paddle brush and it's great for applying lid colors or metallics, shimmers. Um, it's fantastic. It will apply great. I like to spray a little bit of setting spray on it or rose water um, and then dipping it into the shade and packing it on. It'll give it that foiled, really beautiful standout color on your lid. Okay, so we've got our transition color down. I think I'm going to go in with a little bit. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to find a brown. Let's see. I've got Optimistic. Optimistic is my favorite shade, guys. It is my all-time favorite shade. I don't know if it's in stock, back in stock yet, but it's this really pretty shimmer, like pearly color. 
Um, I like to use that on my inner corner and my brow bone. So I'm gonna show you how I do that and show you how it brightens the eyes up. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop it right here on the inner corners. And by doing this, that can help the eyes to appear larger and it just really opens everything up. A little, little tip for you, see that? Gorgeous, so, so pretty. I love adding that there and then right here on the brow bone. This helps to clean up your transition line. Um, it can also help to just kind of clean everything up and then also make your brows pop a little more. It's awesome. Okay, just like that. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of a shimmery color. I'm gonna use ANSI because ANSI is getting ready to come back into stock. It's a metallic color and it's, it, it's probably our most popular metallic, um, one of the most popular metallics because it is stunning. You can use it for an everyday eye look, you can use it for nighttime looks. It's gorgeous. It's a metallic champagne. Where's it at? There it is. Right here. This is like super popular shade. I love ANSI. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet my finger a little bit. You can use the cream shadow brush if you want. I'm just going to use my finger to apply it. So I'm going to spray a little bit. Let me sit this here for a minute. I'm gonna spray a little bit of set, uh, rose water on my finger. You can do this with the brush as well. Make sure your hands and fingers are clean before you go in and touch your face anywhere. And then I'm just gonna load my finger up with that ANSI shade. Now do you see that? Okay. And then I'm gonna get me a mirror here real quick and I'm just gonna pop this color all over the lid. And you're going to see why it's so popular. It's gorgeous. It should be restocking here soon. If you didn't see the restock list that I posted and you want to know when it restocks, just let me know. I can send that right over to you. But look at that. You see how beautiful that is? That kind of brightened the lid up a little bit. So pretty. So we're going to add it over here as well. Just Patting it all over the lid. I'm kind of bringing it up to that crease color. See how pretty that is? Love it, love it. These are my favorite shades to do. Neutrals are my favorite colors to use on my eyes. Now I am going to use a little bit of a darker brown, which is called Marvelous. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna dip that into that dark brown shade and we're gonna apply that right over here in the outer corner, right in that outer V. And that's gonna kind of pull it together, add some dimension. We're just gonna blend it over a little bit into the crease and then right here against the um, lash line. Okay, see that? That just kind of gave us a little bit of depth. Just like that. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. You're kind of creating a V here in the corner. Pulling it over right against the lash line into the crease. Okay, just like that. Okay, we're gonna take that same brown on that pencil brush and we're gonna drag that down underneath. Okay. I'm just gonna smoke it out a little bit underneath and kind of balance the bottom with the top. You can really use any color underneath. 
If you wanted a pop of color, you could do a brighter color and that'll really make the eye look pop. But there is our super neutral eye look. It's one of my favorites to do. If you want more information on those shades or you want to know how to get them, just message me. Let me know. I can let you know if they're available or when they will be available. Now, we only have lashes and lips left. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. So, always exfoliate clean your lips before you go in with a lip product i don't have my lip exfoliator here but unique does have a great lip exfoliator so if you want to find that on my website just go to the menu bar click makeup and then click lips um and then there should be a spot for lip exfoliator hi jen hello i'm back oh whoops Sorry, I was just trying to like your comments and it won't let me. All right, I waved to you, but it won't let me like your comment. <laughs> so I am just gonna line my lips, pouty precision lip liner. I know it's not available, um, but you could use, you could use, um, what's the one called, Prudent? It's a little bit lighter than pouty. Um, or you could use Prim Eyeliner, which is a light brown. Um, really any of the lip liners work fantastic, but we're just going to use this one. I can't not use it just because it's my favorite. I'll be so happy when they bring it back. I really will. Like if they bring pouty and then plush. I'll be one happy girl. Okay, so lips are lined. You can line them if you want to fill them in with your lip liner, you can. That's what I did last night with my red lip liner, and it worked out fantastic. The only thing is when you fill them in all the way with the pencil, um, it might feel a little bit tacky, a little bit sticky. All you got to do is take a little bit of setting powder um, and tap it over top and it'll take the tackiness away. So what do we want to do with the lips? I do have all of these little um, samples of the lip stains. Um, you can't get the samples on my website. I did earn this in a um, makeup bundle when I first joined Unique. Let's see, we have Saucy. I don't know what shades we still have available. Sultry. I know I have Sucker Punch. I know, isn't Pouty so good? Sappy. And then Skittish. Ooh, that's a really bright pink. Should we do Skittish? Jen, I did. I did. I slept in. I slept in today. They canceled that showing, so I was like, why not? I need to sleep in because I did not get to sleep much last week. <laughs> I had, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I had five girls at the bottom, at the feet of my bed. They all had their mattresses lined up all week long. And then my son was sleeping right next in the living room on the couch. Um, so six, and then my other niece was on the other couch. So seven, <laughs> so I had seven kids sleeping with me in the same room all week. Okay, so as you can imagine, bedtimes were not very early. Um, and then I slept on an air mattress all week. So I was happy to get back in my bed last night. And I slept pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this look is really simple. We're keeping it really simple. But I think we're going to go in with a bright pink lip with the lip stain in the shade Skittish. Now, I don't know, Jen, do you know if the Skittish is available on the website? I can't remember which shades we have on there, but we're gonna do it because I've got this color in my earrings. So I kind of am feeling a pink lip today. So with the lip stains, you're gonna wanna apply in layers. 
Oh, this isn't as pink as I remembered. I think I'm thinking of Sucker Punch, but you can layer it up and make it bolder. So like add one layer, let it dry, and then go in with a second layer if you want more color. Okay, all lip stains are available, so you can get this on my website. Um, where did I sit the little thing at? Where did I put it? I hate when I do that. <laughs> Where did I stick it? Um, hello, lip stain, where are you? Guys, did you see where I sat it? <laughs> Why am I not seeing it anywhere? Did I put it back in here? No. What in the world? Did I drop it? No. Okay, so I'm just not seeing where I put it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I laid it right here. So let the first coat dry, first layer, let it dry, and then you can go in. We're gonna add another layer. I think I want it a little bit bolder. So I'm gonna kinda re-dip it, get some more product on there. The lip stains are really thin, almost like a watery consistency. Um, so you can't even fill them on your lips, <clears throat> which is nice. Okay. Isn't that pretty though? And then once they dry, they have a really great staying power. That's really pretty. I like it. I like it. Okay, so. Let me see something real quick. Let me see. We're gonna clean that up a little bit. And there we have it. You don't really need to rub them together. Just let them dry. Lips are, they're good to go. Thanks, friend. <clears throat> I do need to take my contacts out after I hop off, though. I feel like I might be getting a slight infection in this one. So as soon as the makeup gets done, I think I'm going to pop them out, put my glasses on. All right, let's go ahead and add the 4D mascara. Um, the 4D has fibers in it, so it's great for more volume, more length. To your, it adds volume and length to your lashes. Um, it is not waterproof, but it is water resistant. Um, it is hypoallergenic, so it's okay for sensitive eyes or if you wear contacts like I do. Um, you're good, you're good, you're good. Okay. So I'm just gonna wipe my wand off. It has been warming up a little bit, so it's nice and soft, but a lot of product might come out on your wand, so just kind of wipe it off a little bit because you don't want too much product to start with. Okay. Now watch the amazingness happen, okay? Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go in and we are going to wiggle our um, wand into the base of the lashes right at the very bottom of the lash line. Wiggle that in there. Build up the base first. Okay. Wiggle back and forth. This is gonna create a thicker looking lash line, which is going to make your lashes look thicker. 
Okay, so see that? Our lash line looks nice and thick. Now we are going to kind of twirl our wand to the tips of the lashes. Kind of give it a little twirl. Then those fibers are gonna start attaching and creating length. And you give it a twirl because it's a double-sided wand. So it's gonna help to curl the lashes up. And then it keeps them looking nice and wispy when you kind of twirl the wand. So pretty. See that? Really natural looking, not clumpy, just by doing this little technique. Love it. Okay, so here's the, the way I do the 4D is I do that first coat base, build the base, twirl to the tips, let it dry. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the other side. We're gonna let that first coat on that side dry. I'm gonna get some more product onto my wand. Do the same thing as we did the first round. Wipe off the excess. Okay, we're moving on to the second. Okay, let that dry. Hi, Margaret. Hey, girl. Same thing over here. We're wiggling the wand into the base of the lashes. Okay, we're not going straight in and applying it like a normal mascara. We're just going to wiggle it into the base first. After I tuck my hair. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Honest to goodness, guys, anybody can do this. For real. Hey, girl. Hi, Debbie. All right, so we've got that side built up. That lash line's nice and thick. Now we are going to twirl our wand to the tips. Okay. <clears throat> if you want to apply it onto the tops of the lashes to make it look even thicker, you can go like this and comb the lashes down, apply it to the top, and then right back underneath, twirling to the tips. Okay, isn't that crazy? You can literally see those fibers like attaching. <clears throat> I'm telling you, look at the bags, I know, it's insane. I was telling them earlier in the video that that eye cream is the bomb. It is, I highly recommend it. You guys, but Unique usually blows it out of the water when they launch new products. Never ceases to amaze me. All right, since we applied it on the top of the lashes on this side, we're gonna go ahead and um, apply it to the top on this side. Kind of comb them down. Because your lashes have two sides too. So when you're looking down, you want them to look nice and thick too. So just a little tip. So for the second coat, I am going to re-dip it to get some more fibers on there. But now we're only gonna focus it on the tips of the lashes. We're not gonna go all the way back through to the base. We're just gonna keep it onto the tips because we want to mainly just focus on adding more length on the second coat. So I'm going to take it right on the tips and do the same twirling motion. Now that that first coat's dry, the, the fibers in the second coat is going to attach to that first coat. And they kind of like work together as a team to give your lashes more length. Did you guys see that? Look at that. Holy smokes. Um, on my lid, I used ANSI Pressed Eyeshadow, which we'll be restocking this month. Okay, sometimes when you add too much product all the way through the lashes, like multiple times, 
Um, it can get too clumpy and too thick looking. And that's how it starts to clump up. But if you wanna keep it nice and smooth, clump free, just focus on the ends on the second and third, however many coats you wanna do. Okay. Just like that. Okay. There we have it, 4D mascara. Now I'm going to just run it a little bit along. Man, my eye's getting red. <laughs> contacts, you gotta love. I wish I could have eye surgery and get rid of contacts. I'm just gonna run it along the bottom lashes a little bit, just to give some definition to my lashes underneath. And then it'll be done. With my contacts, I do that at least once or twice a year. I'll have just a slight eye infection and it goes away within a couple days. I'll have to just give my eyes a rest from contacts for a few days and it clears right up. <clears throat> Hi, Brie. Is that how you say your name? Brie? Bri? Bray? Brie? I think it's Brie. <clears throat> okay, so lashes are complete. That was the 4D mascara. So good. All right, so this look is complete. Let's add a little bit of highlighter real quick. I'm going to take the same shade that I highlighted my inner corner and my brow bone, which was optimistic. And I'm just going to add that onto my face for a little glow on my face. Gotta brighten up the, gotta have those cheekbones popping. So I'm just cleaning off my blending brush. That's what I like to highlight with because I don't know where my fan brush is at. That's usually what I use, but I <clears throat> don't know where it's at at the moment. But this brush works great. So we're gonna dip it into Optimistic Pressed Shadow Add it to the tip of the nose, right down the bridge. We can add it right here to the high points of the cheekbone. We're gonna bring it up to the arch of the brow, kind of around the temple area. If you have more mature skin, then you don't want to add it right here. You're not going to want to um, highlight that area. So just keep it on the cheekbone and then you can add it right to the arch of the brow. Okay, same thing on this side. And then I like to connect mine. And then I like to take my ring finger, make sure it's nice and clean, and then apply it to the cupid's bow. Just like that. And our look today is complete. So let me know if you guys have any questions. If you Want, or if you're interested, I do have a glam box which has 17 full size unique products in it um, makeup and skincare and tools, brushes. Um, if you're interested in that, it's only $99, so you're getting a really great deal. Number one, you get 17 unique products to try. Um, it's only $99, but the value of it is $441, so you're definitely getting a deal on it. Um, and then right now when you purchase it, I'm gonna give you an extra $50 back in product credit I'll add to your account so you can use on a future purchase. So let me know if you're interested in that. It's such a good deal. It's The Glam Box is just, ugh. I am going to have the box to show you guys. Um, my sister-in-law is gonna let me borrow her so I can show it on a live video. Um, it's so good. It's got all of our mascaras in it, all the lash products. Um, it's got some eyeshadows. It's got some lippies in it. It's got, let's see, some brushes. It's got an eye brush, a face brush, 
some shine cloths, so makeup removers. Um, oh, it's so good. So let me know if you're interested in it and I'm going to hook you up. Okay. You're going to be obsessed with it. So share this video guys. If you're catching me on um, YouTube, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. If you're not already, um, make sure you turn on your bell notifications. That way you will get notified when I upload a new video. And, uh, I hope you guys have a great Monday. Let me know if I can help you with anything and I'll chat with you guys later. Bye everyone.